Erin, a two-year-old female Anoa just got a new home that is more decent. Now that she is at a relatively mature age, she becomes fertile and is ready to breed. Unfortunately, the Southeast Sulawesi Natural Resources Conservation doesn't have a male Anoa to help the female Erin carry out the breeding. Kaki kiri Erin ini diamputasi akibat kena jerat dan dan ini sangat membutuhkan untuk kaki palsunya. Dan sekarang Erin sudah berada di kandang yang layak yang di kami adakan dari BKSD Sulawesi Tenggara tahun 2020. Dan yang kedua jantan yang dibutuhkan adalah Erin ini adalah jantan untuk uh, kawin. Semoga Erin uh, ke depan bisa berkembang biak dan Erin ini kami tidak akan lepas liarkan ke alam karena kondisi kaki depannya itu diamputasi. Officers from the Natural Resources Conservation in the local area hope that Erin will soon get a mate, considering that Anoa is a type of animal whose breeding process is relatively slow. A pair of Anoa is only capable to reproduce one calf in a few years. Erin was found in 2019 by local residents in the forest of the southern Konawe district. She was caught in snares in the wild and got her feet severely wounded. As a result, she had to undergo a leg amputation to prevent the spread of infection to other body parts. Anoa are classified as Volus endemic wildlife, a subgenus of Bubulus comprising two species endemic to the island of Sulawesi and Bhutan Islands. Anoa are also included in the list of endangered species of the International Union for Conservation of Nature IUCN, an appendix 1 based on the Convention on the International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora. It means that besides being protected, Anoa are also prohibited from being traded, dead or alive. Now, the number of Anoas estimated to have decreased due to forest fragmentation and animal poaching. See today contributor reporting from Kandari, Southeast Sulawesi.